Oh, this is... This is a little unnerving, I'm not gonna lie. Why are they not attacking me? It uses its wings it's almost primarily like the for bugs are bugged. during its high-speed sprints. <laughs> Forest Rasadai shows interesting traits. Oh no! To now they're attacking. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy. Give me an end in this episode. We are going to go do the Swamp Cave. So I'm going to take um, Soldier 2 and Barrymore with us so that we have the mate boost because I don't think there's anything dangerous in that cave in terms of terrain. Like, you know, we're not they're not going to fall into lava or something like that. Um, so that way we just have, you know, the extra firepower. Uh, so, let's go ahead and head on out. I have uh, four gas masks because there are Arthur in there. Uh, we're taking ghillie with stuff to repair the ghillie, the usual soups. Um, uh, I'm just going to toss that stuff. So, let's put all this stuff in here. And, um, oh, why don't we, I don't know, it. Is the otter I don't think the otter would suscept uh, susceptible to the poison gas in there because the regular dinos aren't either. Uh, where is my otter? She should be in here. Well, there she is. <laughs> so let's take her so that way we can get a couple, couple artifacts. And um, yeah, I think I think we have everything we need. We got grappling hooks. I'm bringing the rifle. So that we can maybe take some long distance shots against the Arthopleura. Uh, or if we have room, what I'll do is I'll send the the dino that I'm not riding um, in to uh, kill the Arthos. Uh, or at least, you know, uh, engage them. So we'll see see how it goes. But uh, Arthopleura are, are pretty susceptible to ranged damage. So... If we can just, um, you know, shoot them or at least soften them up real quick before they can get to us and spit on us, then um, that would be good. Because that's arguably one of the most dangerous things in that cave. Because of the fact that if they do spit on you, they're going to break your gas mask. And if you lose your gas mask, or all of them anyway, you'll die. Because you will not survive very long uh, with the poison gas. Okay, so you're at 812 damage. What are you at? You're at 846. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll ride Soldier 2. Okay, so we just gotta travel over the mountain to the other side. Well, to the western end, or the yeah, the western end. And also, just to let you guys know, um, I I went back and tried to tame that 150 female Bronto that we saw in the last episode. I even recorded myself trying to do it but here's the thing um she walked all the way down out of the redwoods and across the river um over that way to the, possibly the most dangerous place she could have gone and as a result she was attacked and you know by alphas and by allosaurs and by stegos and th this that and the other thing and so um by the time i was able to clear all the other uh, bad stuff out of the way. She was already quite damaged. And long story short, I wasn't. I killed her. I just wasn't able to knock her out. Uh, she was just too damaged. And um, coming, Barrymore. But the thing is, I I couldn't afford to wait and let her try and heal back up because that's such a dangerous area that something else would have come along and killed her inevitably. Um. So anyway. Yeah, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll come across another win 50 at some point. What the frick are you doing? Let's go. I don't even see you. S Man, the AI pathing of these guys are just it's frustrated me to no end. I tell you what, man. All right. Come on up this way. There you go. We we took the wrong path up the mountain. In fact, here, let me look at the map for a second. 
Um, actually, it's a damn good thing we looked at the map because I was completely heading in the wrong frickin' direction. You know what I'm going to do? Um, the cave is right about here. So we're just going to call this uh, Swamp Cave. And we're going to put it on the map so we can see where it is. All right. So... Can we get up through here and just go over the mountain this way? Good lord. I got myself into kind of a, some nasty terrain here. Oh shit. I didn't know how far we were going to fall. Now the question is, can Barrymore get to us? Oh, what a pain in the ass. I should have just gone around the frickin' mountain. What the hell? Uh. Okay. Can she get to us down here? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just get off this mountain. This is more trouble than it's worth, man. We might as well go check out this purple drop. Ooh, looks like we might have got a mega a megalosaur saddle. Oh no, it's a donkey saddle. Okay. Uh, all right, whatever. Anyways, I'll meet you guys over at the cave. We're just going to go around. I have not been in this cave in ASA. Uh, I think it's maybe over here. It's right in this vicinity. Yep, that's it. All right. Let's do this. Um, we'll put this on. And in we go. Yeah, that's got a, a visor. Big red mushroom. Lots of bugs in this cave. Hey, oh, damn it. Why are you not following us? Was stuck, I'm sure. I think for the most part, it's only jank at the beginning, though there are a couple of other uh, tight spots in the cave too, but for the most part, it should be pretty open for us once we just get past these this initial area here. Okay. Let's go. stuck again. Alright. Uh. Oh, here comes more bugs. Okay. So. No, 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 no. Just stay the f still for a minute. Uh, I don't know. It might be not... It, it might be more trouble than it's worth to bring two dinos in here. Here they come again. Okay. 
Okay, now. You, yeah, you stay there. Stay passive. Don't move. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Maybe we got another level. Crazy. You know what? Actually, what I want to do also is I want to put all of your stuff on you. Okay, let's proceed. Now, we need to... Yeah, see, we got Arthos. Damn it. I want to see if, if we can send... All right, this is just, it's too tight of quarters to do anything. All right. I think there's a snake coming. Can you go, just go attack those guys. My whistle key's not working. All right. Go over there. the same. Okay, let's back up. Actually, I think I know why my attack whistle wasn't working, because she was following me, not the not my dino. Alright, kill these Arthos quick. So, the um, artifact is just right up above our head. There's supposed to be a way we can grapple, I think a secret way to grapple up and get it. But I don't remember the particulars of that. There's leeches over there. Uh, Alright, let's... um Now... Everybody stay passive. Don't do anything. I want to look over here. Uh, I don't think it's there. I don't... I don't see any way through up there. Oh, shit. There's a Megalania right up there on the roof. <laughs> it's good thing it didn't jump on my head. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could try and grapple up there, I suppose. But... Wow. 
Wow, that was crazy, man. Any more? Let's just... Yeah, I don't... I don't think this is the right place, because... As I re recall, there was a, a shortcut to get to it in here, but this does not appear to be it. Okay. Yeah, next time I come in here, I don't think I'm going to bring two dinos. It's just too much of a freaking hassle, man. Okay, so... If I remember right, if we keep going this way, we get to a loot room, but I think we have to go the other way to get to the artifact in the normal fashion. Yeah, see, there's a loot crate right there. All right, are there any Arthos in there? That's what I'm, the only thing I'm concerned about. Kill the damn bug. Okay. Oh, we're on on the on the other berry. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we got some more megalinian toxin, which is good. Torpidity's flying on you. Why does it say my dino's poisoned? I don't see any any poison on it. I don't know. Okay. So, there could be leeches in here. Just grab this really quick. Alright. Decent, um, journeyman pike blueprint. I'll take that. Oh shit, Arthur. Tapahar oh. Imperator is a marvel to watch in the wild. I didn't even know there was a, an explorer. agility compared to the island's other flyers, thanks in large part to the rudder-like fin that extends from its snout to the back of its skull. Initially, I thought the fin was simply composed of keratin, but closer inspection has led me to believe that it is actually some kind of sensory organ. Not only does it decrease Tapahara's turning radius, even at high speeds, but it apparently provides Tapahara with extra information to help it fly through the air with unparalleled grace. I've even seen the Tapahara hover and strafe side to side in the air without moving forward at all. It's quite remarkable. The creature also makes effective use of razor sharp claws to latch onto surfaces such as the trunks of tall trees holding its position indefinitely. Warlike tribes appear to consider Tapahara the equivalent of a versatile rotor aircraft, capable of rapid positional changes and aggressive agility. When domesticated, the Tapahara is typically outfitted with a unique triple rider saddle, enabling two passengers to wield handheld weaponry while the pilot takes the reins. When the Tapahara is latched onto a surface, both the passengers and pilot are able to make full use of their weapons together. Evidently, what this skittering creature lacks in distance, stamina, constitution, and weight carrying capacity, it makes up for in maneuverability and combat versatility. Cool. Yeah, that's a very fun mount, and we are going to try and get one. Uh, by the way, I've, I've said this many times before, but for those of you who don't care to watch those just fast forward the video um most people that do arc videos just skip them um and i want to take the take the time and smell the roses so to speak uh, especially for the uh especially for the um okay you guys are are following each other right 
uh, for the story mode stuff. Here, you know what? I don't think I like this arrangement. I want Barrymore to follow you. I want her to be on neutral in case something re-pops. And I want you to be passive so you guys don't run off on me. Okay, so there's something about this crawl space here, but I don't remember exactly what it is. It goes to another chamber. And I'm not sure if that chamber has loot in it or something. Will you just die? Good lord. Oh shit. I don't know if that spider can get through or not. It can. <laughs> well, this is good though, because then we're we're pulling them out, then we can run in there and take a look and see. Um, like I said, I just don't remember what's back there. I just know there's something back there. Even if it's just in another room, maybe. Not done yet. Okay, uh, I think we're done now. Don't ask me how I'm able to eat cooked prime meat. The gas mask on. Uh, speaking of which, we're gonna have to. Did we get spit on, or is that just? I think that's just its normal durability. All right, let's go back in here. Shit. More stuff. Is it coming? There's a snake, but it looks like it's maybe stuck on something. You know what I need to be doing here is putting this down here. Shit. Okay. I think. Oh shit. That's it. There's a Arthur in there I'm trying to either kill it or at least get its attention. I really need a shotgun. I have not found a shotgun or a long neck rifle in this entire playthrough so far. I know I could just make the basic one. Maybe I should. Even the basic one's somewhat decent. That does 315 damage. What does this do? Oh, 371. Okay. The damage on the pistols 
um, <coughs> is higher in ge in general, but obviously the rifle still packs more of a punch. So if we can find a high level one of these things in a drop, preferably a blueprint, then we'll have a pretty powerful weapon. Okay, so I do see another explorer note there, and I think that's a dead snake. <laughs> you sent a sniper rifle on a, a bug, that's funny. Aside from the bugs, can we get all the way in here now? These bugs don't seem to be aggroing. Oh, this is this is a little unnerving, I'm not going to lie. Why are they not attacking me? Okay, there's another snake over there. So I think this explorer note's the only reason to come in here. Um, let's grab it. Ranging from eight to you guys are just going to have to pause the Forest screen if you want to read that. Oh, shit! ...is a highly aggressive avian that is just barely capable of very brief flight. Instead, it uses its wings it primarily like the for bugs are bugged. during its high-speed sprints. <laughs> Forest Rassidae shows interesting traits... Oh, no! Now they're attacking! Oh, no! <laughs> and Tyrannosaurus. It has many similar traits... Oh, no! And predator patterns right um. into forest rassidae gain most of the benefits of a fast, mobile, ground-based theropod. Will you also gain hurry up, lady? <laughs> movement from a flyer, assuming the rider can. Oh no, this is not good. Air over a long leap. It's not good because I don't have enough. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe I do. Um, I was gonna say I don't know if I have enough. Uh, substrate to make another gas mask. You know what happened? I accidentally hit one of those bugs. That's what happened. Okay. Um. Oh, good. I do. I can actually make five more. Let's make, um... Let's make three. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they'll grab another berry and see if we can get back in there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to my stuff, but I wasn't wearing my most valuable stuff, so it's I'm not as concerned about that as I am about getting my berries back. Oh, boy. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, really the only armor that's good for heat resist is... Uh, is is uh, this and guess what all of my organic polymer was on me too <laughs> okay um chitin has terrible heat resist flack has maybe flack has less heat resist yeah, let, let's just wear flak. It'll make us a hell of a lot tougher. Uh, if I lose this high-level armor in there, I'm going to cry, though. But we got to get going. Um, because that's all the actual armor. None of that's from blueprints. Well, actually, you know what? This is from a blueprint. And you know what we're going to do? I, I think even though it's primitive, I really think we should make ourselves a pump shotgun. It's just going to help so much with the bugs. Um, can we make two? Yeah, we probably better because 
it's going to have terrible durability. And we have 60 shotgun shells. Let's make some more. It, I mean, if we can, if we can recover our stuff, we certainly will try to. But like I said, I'm more interested in just getting my dinos back. So those are two of my best berries. Okay, um, we're gonna take this pike. We don't really well. Here, yeah, let's just take this crossbow. Uh, I'll have to make another grappling hook. No point in taking this with us because we have to wear the gas mask. Oh, okay. Um, let's also grab this other sniper rifle because that thing was actually doing more damage than I figured it would. Take those bullets. And then let's just make shotgun shells. Let's see. We should take some more, or make some more, rather, uh, medical brew. We didn't... Yeah, we might want to... I think it's hot in that cave, so we might want to make a little more Kalian. Or do I have some? Oh, I do. Okay, we'll just take that. In fact, since we're... Potentially going to do melee damage. Let's take all of those. There aren't, there actually aren't any bats in there, are there? Okay, so we don't need to take that. Uh, well, I don't think there are. I don't remember seeing any. Let's take a couple anyway, just, just for the hell of it. And I should have... Yeah, here we go. I would definitely want to take some of this with us so if we get poisoned. I'm sure I'm forgetting something important, but time is wasting. Let's just grab some more of this for food. And do I have a spyglass in here? Yeah, let's just take that spyglass for now. We don't need a parachute. Yeah, I hit, I hit those bugs and <laughs> it was all over but the crying, man. Well, there was some of that too. Did, we did manage to grab that explorer note, though, right? I, I think that's the only reason to go in that room, I think. Um, what are we doing? Shotgun shells. All right. Let's see if we can get back there and get it to our dinos. And maybe see if we can get to our stuff. I don't know which one of you is the toughest. Oh, you're at 782 damage. Yeah, okay. Once we can get back to our guys. Okay, good. There they are. Okay, I can breathe a little bit easier now. Now they're going to get stuck on everything, but... Grab this real quick. Nice ghillie suit there. Okay, so now the question is, can we... Uh, you know what? There shouldn't be any repops in here yet because there aren't any in this room. So everybody follow Soldier 4. Stay aggressive, or not aggressive, neutral. You stay passive. Okay. Oh, you know what? Damn it. Maybe I should have brought that bug spray in here. Now well, let's just see what happens. Oh, shit. Okay. No, I can't take those bugs on by myself. Nope. I cannot see what's going on. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can get to our stuff. Shit. No, not the gas mask again. I didn't know those bugs would mess with the gas mask. Apparently they do. We really need to try and get to our stuff those now so I can get to the extra gas mask because this is the only one we have left. All right. Here's the rule. Oh, shit. If we see bugs, retreat right away. <laughs> they got to eventually wear out, right? And I hope my stuff's still there. I do have the server set to... I'm stuck on something. I do have the server set to, you know, keep my stuff around longer after I die. And this is not good. We might have to just abandon our shit and get out of here because if I can't get to, if I lose this gas mask, I'm dead. Let's try one more time. Maybe I should have brought some scuba gear as a backup. I just... Grab that. Oh shit, that's not my stuff. Where's my stuff? Ah, uh, no. Is that it? Nope. That's not it. Nope, don't do that. Okay, so if that's not my stuff. Oh, that was my otter. Alright. My stuff's got to be around here. There it is. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> now we're too heavy. Uh, okay, here. Drop some arrows. That's way too many arrows. And we don't have all day because we're going to start getting repops. Okay, so let's grab the pike, grab the gas mask, grab the other pike. Uh, I don't care about the arrows. Grab the mask. All right, now, um, yeah, grab the sniper rifle and the shotgun. See, those two things alone just made us mondo heavy. Uh, yeah, we'll grab the chest piece. Let's get the soups again, because they're not actually that heavy. Okay, you know what? I, I think, oh, Lazarus Chowder. It was just right. We I know, we got to get out of here. We really do. I'm really pushing it. Yeah, forget the Lazarus Chowder. Let's go. <laughs> Something just attacked me. I don't know what it was. I'm not even going to turn around and look. Okay, now, now we can breathe just a little bit easier here. So, I think this is another crawl space that goes back out to the other room, but let's just... What the hell? Look at how I'm sitting on my guy. <laughs> All right. Let's just move back through here. Any chance you can both come without getting... Oh, look at that. I'm impressed. Okay. So what we actually need to do is we need to go this way. Stuck simulator, I swear. So we have to go through two more chambers 
to get to where we can get to the artifact, as I recall. So let's get ready for another fight. And one of our dinos is stuck. There she is, or he, or whoever. Having three dinos in here is just definitely too much. But it's what we got to work with. Now, I think sometimes there might be a loot crate in that water, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. I don't think we're going to be able to get through there. Maybe we go that way. Oh, pay attention. We got an ortho. Actually, it's probably a damn good thing we have two extra dinos with us. <laughs> can fit through there. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. So, you both with me? There is a, a drop. Get to without getting it. I'm gonna have to do a respec and put a few more points into weight. This is ridiculous. The reason I haven't put as much into weight as I normally would is because of the stacking mod, but it's starting to bite me in the ass now. Uh, scorpion saddle, nice one. Not that we give a shit about that. Nice all allosaur saddle. Okay. I think we could have also come through that way. All right. There's a red drop. I think there's a shit ton of leeches in this pond too, if I recall. Um, man, that's such a hard time seeing. I don't see any Arthur. Well, there is an Arthur across the way. Let's see if we can stay here and let them come to us. Oh my god, look at all those bugs. <laughs> That's crazy. Get some XP, man. That's for sure. Yeah, let's just let those guys go to it. Um, I want to see if I can sniper doodle that. Arthur over there. Um, at, uh, uh, I'm at the wrong angle. Oh, I'm completely turned around. Good. Okay. Can we soften him up. Go this way. Nice. All right. Well, there's a, a double barrel. A, a stone, yeah. 
Sure. We'll take a stone. Not. All right, here, you take... Oh, man, that is a really nice crossbow. Oh, my goodness. Where'd you guys go? Uh, okay, so... Oh! Did it res... No, it still has the, the rock in it. That's just hilarious, man. Maybe it'll repot before we leave. Okay, so let's see here. I think we're getting close. I believe, if I remember correctly, I believe I go up the left tunnel and that'll get me to the artifact. And I don't think there's monsters in there. And I'm not 100% positive. Get over here, you guys. Use your wonderful AI pathing and get your ass over here. Barry Moore, don't go in that water. You're going to get leached like crazy. All right. So this is this is the final stretch here. Um, let's see. You... Everybody follow this dino. Everybody be neutral. You be passive. Um, okay, which one of you has my other gas mask? You do. Okay, give me that extra gas mask. In fact, give me both of them. You can have this one. Okay, so we have two extra gas masks. I think we're ready to do this. This, yeah, this is the left tunnel, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, jeez, there's, there's snakes there. I didn't think there was any mobs up here. <laughs> can we get up in here? I think we can get up in here a little ways, but not all the way, if I remember right. All right, yeah, you guys just stay there so I can run back to you like a chicken. Oh, wait a minute. This is that other room from the other side where we dumped all of our shit. Okay. Uh... Oh. All right. So maybe what we do is we go up the other tunnel then. Hmm. Okay. So is, is it this tunnel we go up? Oh, another explorer note. Today I witnessed an unforgettable sight. I'm going to close this. The We're extremely get, going against the clock here. Titanosaurus bagacastrum. Essentially a walking mountain. It is an absolutely enormous sauropod which has developed armored plates of bone protrusions all over its body. Between these plates and its unparalleled size, Titanosaurus is extremely difficult to put down. In addition, Titanosaurus seems outright immune to any sort of narcotic effects. They often inadvertently crush nearby creatures okay. on foot um. with every step they take. While most sauropods ignore non-hostile creatures, Titanosaurs take issue with creatures invading its personal space. I was just trying to see this where that probably because they other way up here is. Any and all plants they maybe, they, maybe they changed it so you can't do that. Titanosaurus eats constantly, which certainly helps recover health quickly, even after fighting off numerous carnivores, such as Gigantosaurus. If ever a creature... You'll hardly see a Titanosaurus with just a saddle and a rider. Its immense size can effectively carry a fortress. Although the Titanosaur okay, just getting the screenshot there. It's believed the process causes the artifact of the to immune starve to death from its subsequent refusal okay. to eat. Let's get the frick out of here. <laughs> so that other tunnel goes back to the other room. It, it kind of it, it kind of circles all the way around. I, I remember that now. I just didn't remember it earlier. 
Well, that sucks that we lost our our otter. Oh, we got another drop here. Nice. Ooh, look at that. That's a, that's a blueprint too. Yeah, nice. Okay. I'll take it. That's not bad, man. That is not bad. It is heavy, though. Okay, let's go. This just goes out... Wait, where does this go out at? Is this the same... Yeah, it is the same room. Okay. Come on, guys. Well, if we had our otter, we could have gone back and got the another one, but our otter's dead. All right, this is the way out. I can't see a freaking thing, man. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, we made it out of that place. Get out of here, Terror Bird. What a deal, you guys. Oh. Okay, so. Next time we go in there, we take one berry with us and we just be a little more careful. There'll be no reason for us to go into that on foot into that back room anymore. Um, you know, because that that's what screwed us up. But we got the explorer note, so. There you go. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to go ahead and limp my, <laughs> my way back home, mourn my otter. But we did manage to get the artifact of the immune right here. So we only have two artifacts left for land caves and then the two sea caves. So maybe we'll try the Sky Lord next. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I've got a lot, uh, I still have a lot of breeding to do before we're ready to actually attempt a boss fight too, so uh, we'll see, we'll just see how things go. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Stuck Simulator, and we will catch you <laughs> in the next episode. Bye-bye.